The time has come to start the Lone Echo playthrough. This was purely inspired by the fact that Lone Echo 2 is supposedly to release this year, but you know, this is an ongoing VR meme that it's never gonna happen, but I think we will see it eventually. This is a similar situation that I did with a Half-Life. I basically played, I believe, half of the first game to prepare myself story-wise for the half of Alex. It was a very good idea because I actually knew what was going on. I was not aware of the storyline at all before, and that really kind of set me up for the gameplay. So we're doing the same thing with Lone Echo. The only things I know about this game is that it's in space and Echo VR, like the multiplayer experience, revolves around zero-g kind of gravity. So this is something out of my comfort zone, but I really enjoy story-based games. So I think this is gonna be fun. Let's go, like, hell. <laughs> Chronos 2? What is this? Hera, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Huh. Saturn? Oh my god. Hello? Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are... I wanna see the options if you have like subtitles. Continuous rotation, not recommended. <laughs> yeah, this game was developed like years ago when the smooth turn was not like a standard, but that's gonna be fine. High performance mode. I don't know what it is, but sure. Well, I guess we'll see. A bit lower than I'd like. Oh. We had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Oh, wow. What the hell is this detail? Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Good. <laughs> Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll oh. see you in a few. Hey! What the? <laughs> Module D221, Manual Dexterity. Oh, okay. The same thing happened for Echo VR. I am Hera, Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Wait, is it not the exact same tutorial from a cover? Yeah, it is. It's interesting. Calibration module complete. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Please take your time and follow the guide. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Calibration module <laughs> complete. Module M205. Maneuvering thrusters. I don't really play Echo VR because Your I'm not a pro in this mechanics. Allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do They're not, not like very much continuous. Ah, because there's a charge, okay. What the? <laughs> what? That was Reminder, me. <laughs> please do not touch any surfaces in the hallway. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Yeah, no, this tutorial is uh, now, it's different. I don't remember like obstacles. Thruster calibration at 
<laughs> this is so chill. Gucci. Calibration module complete. Module C-111. Communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index oh, finger. Oh, hell yeah. Hold down the dialogue button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialogue button and select a reply. <laughs> Like this. Correct. Oh, I love this. Acknowledged. Often you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How long do you How long do I have to reply? Most often you will have ten seconds to reply. Okay. But this number may vary under special circumstances. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. I love this. This is actually the first VR game that I played that has like a dialogue system. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit. And speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. A Mark 1 Fury transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. <laughs> Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? Yeah. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. This is not like a new concept that we have dialogues, but like in VR module it's very a, rare. 131. Data Which scanner. should be like a standard, honestly. Roleplay mechanic is very important. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. Directors have been pushing to make fully automated <laughs> Now I can touch This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. Command one. Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. You're it too must close. have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... <laughs> Thank you. You're all set. How nice of you. <laughs> Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? <laughs> enough. I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as Station Commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... Hmm? I'm sorry, Jack. Yeah, orders for the Orders are orders. Command must have their reasons. Doesn't necessarily mean they're good ones. Regardless, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do. Come on then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. 
What are we doing exactly in this game? We were in space, I guess in the station. The graphics, I don't think I have to tell that it looks amazing. <laughs> Even for 2021 in Quest 2. Like, what? Your swear count is not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. <laughs> I mean, shit. Never mind. <laughs> nice. There's so much to discover. A disc from Echo. Score. 23 to 11. It would appear I'm going to win. Again. Now hold on. I've still got seven days. Plenty of time to stage my epic comeback. Considering the significant difference between our two scores and given your win-loss record, I would estimate the odds of you staging an epic comeback are approximately 3,725 to 1. Wow, Jack. Wow. That is just some of the worst trash talk I've ever heard. <laughs> I didn't know it had humor, okay. What are those? Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I love the dialect so far. This is hilarious. Wait, can I, like, touch you? Jack, you're blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> wow, interacting even? Damn. This is some high level gameplay. Okay, let me activate whatever that is. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Oh my god. Wow. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. <laughs> this is crazy. I can kinda see that it's like the game from years back because some textures or rings are kinda like far that doesn't really render, but I mean, this is still impressive. Like, this is massively better than most of the stuff in VR, even. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? I actually don't know. Oh. <laughs> I do not. Please tell me. Ammonia crystals in the upper atmosphere react with... You're just humoring me, aren't you? <laughs> I know how much you like to answer your own questions. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> so, Jack. Hmm? I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. Oh. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Oh, yeah. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? Aww. Yeah, I mean, seems like their friendship is like really... I have no... What? What was that? Jack, did you feel that? Uh-huh. What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. Some split in Saturn? Affirmative, I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the? What the? Jack, are you alright? Mm hmm. Is this like some electromagnetic pulse? Never mind me. Never mind me. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Whatever that was, it looks to only have affected the electronics. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Minor glitches, no permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know it would work. Alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Well, the robot is still uh, working there. Board spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Activate. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. 
Orbital mining facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Mm -hmm. Central mining station. I think something's damaged too. <laughs> Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Yeah. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Uh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Where is it? Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Huh? Module A-131. Data scanner. It failed in the tutorial. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. Mm -hmm. To see the results of your scan, Grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Wow. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Damn, that's crazy mechanics. You must scan additional objects or materials. Echo arena disk, yeah. I guess the pod, because why not? Wow, what more? <laughs> I can scan you. <laughs> Initiating Hera. sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. <laughs> Two scans remaining. Wait, I actually can scan everything. That's crazy. What the? One scan remaining. And I guess the doors. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. This is nuts. All set. Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Mm. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well. Problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. <laughs> of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? I don't know. Anomaly? Yeah. Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. What? 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. <laughs>